Hi guys, welcome back to Uncle Khan's Geek Cave, and as promised today I will be reviewing the Funko Firefly Legacy Collection Jane Cobb action figure. Obviously the package is just the same as with Malcolm and Zoe, clear window on the front showing off Jane Cobb over here, clear window on the side, another picture of uh, Jane Cobb portrayed by actor Adam Baldwin in the back, another picture of Jane, all the other characters available in the line, back to the front, let's open up this box and see what we have. And here is Jane armed to the teeth as always. Okay guys, once more I have to say I am very pleased with what Funko is doing with these figures. The amount of detail they're putting into these guys is very pleasing to any uh, action figure collector and especially Firefly fans, okay? Us brown coats out here are really appreciating these guys. They are doing a really great job. Now let's look at some details they put into Jane. First of all and most notably of all is the hat. This hat appeared in only one episode of the series, it was called The Message. And it's a package that he receives from his mom, and the hat's inside, and he wears the hat the entire episode. Um, the clothes, there's not much to say about the clothes. You got your little Asian symbol here for the shirt, and then you have his shirt, which is just plain olive drab, nothing special on it, no paint. It has a little detail here on the sleeves. And uh, his pants are khaki. has very, very, very slight dry brushing here and there on his butt and his legs. Very slight. His boots do have a little green detail here, as you can see, right over here. And uh, yes, this figure does include his uh, holster and a sheath and a little leather pouch in the back. Okay. The, um, the articulation on this guy, uh, well, his head, yes, it does do a full Linda Blair, all 360. It goes up very, very slightly, nothing amazing. And it does go down very little too so there's not much range of movement on Jane's head his shoulders they go all the way up they go around same with this one he does have some ab crunch right over here pretty good ab crunch also but if you push it for back too much you can see that little cavity there and it looks kind of weird so just keep it right here okay he has no waist swivel at all his legs they'll come up he does do a Van Damme he does have thigh swivel right over here. His knees are double jointed, so you can bend them up pretty good. His ankles do move down and they do move up. No ankle pivot at all, okay? So all in all, I am liking this figure from the uh, three I have collected so far. I'm liking this one the best. Um, it's a solid figure, whoops, solid figure. I like it, the resemblance to Adam Baldwin, I like that too, it does look like him. And the accessories are really, really nice, and I'll go into that in a second. Of course, Jane would not be Jane without his Callahan Full Bore Auto Lock, also known as Vera. This is Jane's favorite weapon, he says that in one episode, and strangely enough, this thing does not show up in any other episode or in the movie. So, yeah, but they included it in the package with him. It's a very nicely detailed weapon. Uh, strange. <laughs> but it looks, it looks, you know, it looks threatening enough to be Jane's favorite weapon. He's a big guy and this is a big gun, okay? He also includes his Lamat pistol right over here. This thing is very nicely detailed too. has a nice uh, dry brushing on it for the gun metal. And it includes a tiny little Bowie knife, okay? The great thing about these accessories is that they all fit on Jane's sheaths and holsters. The gun right over here fits in perfectly. The knife in his sheath right over here fits in perfectly. Boom. And the gun, the rifle, the Callahan full bore. Well, it's a little bit of a labor of love to put it in his hand, but I'll show you uh, that in a second. And here is Jane holding Vera. Just like with Zoe's uh, figure, I had a bit of a challenge trying to put the gun in his hands. It turned out to be a little easier with Jane. I tried to uh, open up his fists. I basically gave him like a massage and pried his fingers open almost to the point where you feel like you're going to break him. So be careful when you do that. 
because I tried to put the gun in there without doing that and uh, the handle on Vera bent really bad. I just have to, you know, mold it back into place. But you have to pry these fingers open until he can hold the gun and it looks pretty decent, okay? But as you can see right now, it looks good. It looks like he's holding his own gun his fingers are in the right place. And yes, the only figure that's giving me any kind of trouble with the weapon holding so far has been Zoe. But I'm very happy with the way Jane looks holding Vera. Measurement time. Jane stands at around six and a half inches, including that poofy thing on his hat. Is this accurate to uh, real life sizes? Not really. Adam Baldwin stands at six foot four, while Nathan Fillion stands at six foot two. Yeah, that's only a two inch difference, but as you can see, their eyes are exactly the same height, so they made both of them the same height. That's not accurate, but still, nothing, nothing serious, nothing major. Well, do I like this figure? Yes, I really do like this figure. This is, from the ones I have purchased so far, this has to be my favorite. Everything on Jane looks perfect, okay? The clothes, the look, the details, the sheaths, the holsters, Vera looks amazing. Yes, I do like this figure a lot and I recommend you get it, okay? So this is the guy you want to get from the Firefly Collection and this is the man you don't want to go around damaging his calm, okay? <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with another review next week and please subscribe. Live long and prosper.